Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ. Um, today's video is going to be a Harney and Sons haul. So there's two boxes. One was a little bit bigger, one smaller. Um, I ordered them a month ago, um, but since I was away for the first half of September, I just kind of wanted to unbox them with you guys. And so here we are. Um, but I did want to disclaim two things. Well, one thing. So, <laughs> so Hardy and Sons on their website, they offer a feature where if you're looking for something and it's sold out, they say, you know, just give us your email and we'll let you know when it's back in stock. Sorry. Well, for these two orders, that's exactly what happened. I was looking for something very specific and they didn't have it, but I put my email in and they were like, okay. And within like two weeks, the products were back in stock and they were out of stock separately. So I, I did end up having to place two orders, but... That's like two times I went back to the site. One time I bought something extra, which I didn't plan to get initially. Um, and I just think it was like super helpful and just kind of nice as a consumer to be able to like be notified when something comes back in stock. World Market does that too, but I don't know of any other tea companies um, that do that. Do you guys? I don't know. So let's get into what I got. Um, samples from the first box include Japanese Sencha and decaffeinated Ceylon. Um, <laughs> there's also, in the bigger box, this Harney & Sons catalog, which I'm gonna just take cute stills with in hopes that it will be my thumbnail pick because I always have really lame ones. <sighs> and then what I really got that I'm so excited about from this first larger box is the Mint Gift Scent. So it comes in this really nice, relatively textured box. Um, it's hard, sturdy. Um, when you take off the lid, the first thing you see is the fancy Harney & Sons tissue paper with the insignia, the M, um, yeah, we'll go with that. And then when you open it, there are three tea tins and a mug. And here's the description. So via the website, um, Harney & Sons partnered with the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York um, to create three blends of tea. Each 10 has 20 sachets um, and a Met facade mug, all nicely in this co-branded black and gold gift box. Um, and so I'll discuss the teas as we take them out of the box. Ah, fancy. Um, so the, ooh. <laughs> The first one is hot apple spice black tea. Can I also tell you guys that 40% of the purchase was these beautiful tins? Like, come on. <laughs> um, all right, so hot apple spice black tea is a bright autumnal blend of strong black tea and delicious fruit. Hot apple spice bursts with the sweetness of orchard ripened apples mixed with cinnamon, orange peel, and ground cloves for a warming brew with a touch of spice. Doesn't that sound perfect for this season? I know. Um, ingredients include black tea, orange peel, cinnamon flavor, ground cinnamon, hmm, apple pieces, apple flavor, cinnamon pieces, ground cloves, and other natural flavors. So that's 10-1. 10-2 is called Garden Therapy Herbal Tea. Hmm. So again, like, look at this, like, just look at, look at the tin. Look at the sticker. It's so nice. And really, it is just a sticker on, like, a black... Harney and Sons 10, but cute. Um, okay, so then this one, Garden Therapy offers a soothing, aromatic herbal blend of chamomile and peppermint. Okay, so I don't like chamomile that much. <laughs> chamomile is well known as a traditional relaxant and sleep aid, while peppermint has been used for centuries to calm the stomach. Ingredients include chamomile, peppermint, and lemon verbena. So we'll give it a try and stay open-minded because, again, so far we're up to two super cute tins <laughs> and then the last one that oh my geez is it so cute um this one is called taste of british history blend look at those teapots look <laughs> um so taste of british history blend the met and harney and sons present this custom blend as the museum's gallery of british as the museum's galleries of British decorative arts and sculpture reopen after extensive renovation. Our unique and vivid offering celebrates Great Britain's ongoing fascination with tea by drawing on historic flavors in the 17th, jeez. Oh, the periods are small guys, it's not me. You're like, where does this sentence end? 
Um, so it goes on to say some things about the 17th century, England and China. Cool. Ingredients include, oh, this is why I liked it. So the last sentence says, the subsequent development and export of black teas led to their widespread popularity, including the variation named for Charles, the second Earl Grey. <laughs> Sorry, that's just like my fancy self. That's how I imagine it to be. Um, ingredients include black teas, green teas, oil of bergamot, and natural flavor flavors. So bergamot, I'm in. <laughs> Earl Grey, Charles, <laughs> I'm in. Um, and this super cute tin. Sorry, that was like a real weird moment. Apologies. <laughs> and then lastly, this cute little mug. And is it little? Um, so everything was nicely packaged. There was tissue paper between the tins and the mug. There was plastic over the mug and tissue paper within the mug. Um, and this is what it looks like. So the Metropolitan Museum of Art runs across the bottom. And then there's just a gold sketch of the front of the building. The handle is gold, the rim is gold, inside white. The bottom says the Met. Porcelain made in China, hand washed, do not microwave. <laughs> so this, this does feel like something that would be in the gift shop, but paired with these, these tens in this box makes it so much more fancy. So, uh oh. <laughs> Very happy with that purchase. I would say out of all these teas, right now, the hot apple spice sounds good because it kind of sounds like just like a mulled apple tea um, in this fall. So that's my jam. But also like this taste of British history blend sounds like me because of the bergamot and the likeliness that it's just a delicious mixed Earl Grey, you know? Um, least excited about the... <laughs> Garden Therapy Herbal Tea, just because of the chamomile. I have been gulping chamomile tea in an attempt to sip down a lot of it before September is over, and I've gotten used to it, but still, it's just not, it's just not my fave. Um, so let me move my tablet and move on to the smaller box, smaller box. So again, this was the second order. I'll confirm the dates in a second. And this, again, was another thing that I, I was going to buy it with this Met set, um, but it wasn't in stock at the time. So, again, I put my email in, and I just waited for my moment. Did I mention that Hardy & Sons ships for free? Any order? All orders within the U.S.? I know. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. So the box is open. I know what I bought. Oh, and I bought one extra thing. All right, so the date on this order form is August 26th. Oh, that's not so bad. So August 11th for the Met and then August 26th for the second order. <laughs> um, samples are organic, organic green tea with mint and dragon pearl jasmine. There is a, another catalog buried in the bottom of this box but since we've seen it already I'm not gonna bother digging that out so I will show you guys what I wanted to get initially and then what I also just happened to pick up all right so this one is the golden milk tea mind your body wellness tea and herbs Harney and Sons it's it's marketed as glimmer so there's turmeric ginger coconut and spices a traditional Ayurvedic beverage, we've masterfully, masterfully blended organic turmeric with other herbs and spices to create this dreamy caffeine-free elixir that can be enjoyed anytime. Ingredients include organic everything, turmeric, ginger, coconut pieces, black pepper, and chicory root. So glad there's no weird licorice. I don't know why. I don't, licorice is just freaking me out lately, um, and I, I just want no part of it. Um, so I saw a review from Teased by Danny, and I was happy to see it because she was very pleased with it, and I like turmeric in, in lattes and with other things, and as a just a kind of a relaxing thing that also has these really great health benefits, so super excited about this, but also I gotta tell you guys, 30% of it was the aesthetic. So look at this color tint, 
let's talk about it, is gold. Compared to the standard, black. Beautiful! You know I like gold. <laughs> but also, like, then there's this, like, mute, like, ivory cream label, and I'm just, ugh, I live for it. Ugh. But again, I actually like turmeric, <laughs> ginger, and coconut, so I'm going to drink it. It's going to be great, but that tin is beautiful. Um, and I think that was upwards of 20 bucks. So there's eight ounces in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then I got this tea towel set that was on sale. Um, and I just like it. <laughs> so this is a dish towel set of two. I'm going to slide this off and see if it goes. Oh, yeah, it does. So there's that. And then the back is a different print. So I like these, this this vibe is me too. So if it's not gold and a little bit bougie, it's like rustic and a little bit tribal. That's me. <laughs> um, let's see. Block printed by hand, made in India. This textile was block printed by artisans in Jaipur, India, using a process which is thousands of years old. Hmm. Patterns are carved and chiseled by hand into wooden blocks. These blocks are then coated with ink and pressed firmly onto fabric to create a continuous pattern. No two textiles are exactly alike. The unique characteristics and lack of uniformity are what makes these items so special. I think so. But the problem is <laughs> I have a, a hard time using tea towels because they're so pretty. So I need to just keep these out and use them. But they're, they're marketed as dish towels, so... But like, I'm not gonna use these on dishes. These are gorgeous. Anyway, wow, this video is long and I only showed you really two main stars of the show plus this like add-on. Anywho, if you have any questions about any of the teas from the Met gift set or the Golden Milk um, tea, I would go over to Teas by Danny to check out her review, which I might link if I know how to link other people's reviews. Um, yeah, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. If you see my fall attire, it's because I went apple picking today. Sorry, I'll for sure. Bye!